Global Community Oscars. Its 12th annual U.S. Congressional Awards Gala is June 17th at the Yellow Box in Naperville. Samantha, there will be live multicultural entertainment, activities, and networking opportunities. The event will also highlight the achievements of people and organizations that have made a great impact on their communities. If you've never been to a community Oscars, it's something that you'll never forget. It's a day of celebration, a day of awards, and just a day that uh, fellowship and, and love is all in the room. Congressman Danny Davis and Congressman Jonathan Jackson both in attendance to promote this year's gala, which will feature a big lineup of special guests, including members of Congress, business leaders, and philanthropists. And get this, our colleague, ABC7 reporter Kate Kogarin, will be among those who are honored at this year's gala. Congratulations to you, Kate. So excited for her. I want to give her a big virtual hug yeah, right now because she is, is so incredible. deserving of this. Yes, <sighs> such a sweetheart and hardworking. No doubt. We have with us Dr. Kiros Tuvalde, representing the Ethiopian community. We have Mr. Robert Yop, our very own man from Southland. Naveen Karna, who is our gala co-chair, along with Mr. Vijay Murli Garen from Oak Group, and Ms. Ali Dandraj, as I like to say. Kathleen Chen, who is one of the awardees from Chinatown. Mr. Sam Ma, who is the Chinese community member from Chinatown of the Watch Jury, and Dr. Murphy Martinez who is our Hispanic Latin American community commissioner on the Amex. We'll be starting in a few minutes. Good morning, I'm Dr. Zenobia Sowell, governor of the American Multi-Ethnic Coalition and jury chair, awards jury chair for this year, our 12th annual gala. We look forward to seeing you all at our event it is definitely a place that you want to be on June 17th in the evening, 6 o'clock, and we will take you around the world and entertain, and um, you're going to have a wonderful time. We look forward to seeing you there. Don't miss it. Hi, I'm Ali Danaraj, uh, Gala co-chair. Um, please join us on Saturday, June 17th for the favorably called Community Oscars. Please join us. It starts at 545. There, is, uh, there are dinner uh, tickets that are available with me. If you guys need dinner tickets, let me know. Thank you. Hello, hi uh, everyone. Uh, good morning to the press. Uh, my name is Vijay Murali Daran. I'm a media uh, chair for this uh, event on uh, June 17th. Today I'm going to cover the um, entertainment section a little more deeper on what kind of entertainment activities we have from different uh, ethics. And uh, I am so proud to announce that uh, I'll be dancing for the very popular Natu Natu song. I've been given the opportunity. Good afternoon, good morning. Uh, my name is Dr. Kiro Stolda Gabriel. I'm a member of the AMIC uh, group and also I'm originally from Ethiopia. I'm representing the African community. Hi, uh, my name is Naveen Karna. I'm a part of AMIC group and I'm the co-chair for the, this event uh, on uh, June 17th. Welcome, yeah. Hi, everybody. My name is Caitlin Chen. I'm here as one of the awardees. Morning. My name is Robert York. I'm a part of the um, AMEC Coalition, and I am the director of the Gandhi King Center, Inglewood. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Dr. Mercedes Martinez. 
I am a mental health provider, been one for many years, and part of this wonderful organization, AMIC and Multi-Ethnic Advisory Task Force, representing the Hispanic community. And, and uh, as they've been said, as has been said, June 17th is a wonderful, wonderful event. Please make sure to attend. Thank you. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Sam Ma. Uh, I'm chairman of the Secretary of State uh, Advisory Council. Uh, this year, uh, we uh, community uh, laminate the two uh, awarding. One is uh, KD Chen, one is, another one is uh, Gary Chen. Thank you. Yeah, my name is uh, Nagendra Tsupada. I've been associated with uh, AMEC for a long time. And all of you should come for on 17. With 12 annual congressional, congressional uh, award gala, which has been held in Naperville on June 17th, Saturday. And I will just brief put about today's uh, First conference. So we have welcomed by Naveen Karma. Opening remarks and around the world in 16 minutes by Vijay Gubinder, the media co chair. Award jury chair remarks by Dr. Zinoba Sobel, Governor AMEC. 12th Congressional Award Gallery by Dr. Vijay G. Prabhagar, AMEC President. And we have our own U.S. Congressman Jonathan Jackson, the Gallery Co-Chair Remarks. And we have our own Congressman Danke Davis, a Gallery Anchor Remarks. And closing remarks by Ali Dhanaraj, the Gallery Co-Chair. So we are going to start our first meeting right now. Good morning. So we want, we want to welcome you all for the today's press meet. Um, it starts with AMAC. AMAC is a multi-ethnic coalition organization. It's a bipartisan, uh, statewide, and uh, grassroots uh, organization representing around 38 uh, different uh, ethnic communities. So MATF and AMAC is a movement uh, under the leadership of uh, Danny K. Davis and uh, that works for our uh, ethnic communities and uh, for our overall uh, development. The 12th annual AMEC uh, and uh, MEDA uh, Congressional uh, Award Gala 23, popularly known as uh, the Community Oscar Award, Global Community Oscar Award, uh, hosted by AMEC and uh, MEDA on June 17th uh, in Yellow Box, uh, Naperville. So our anchors for this event is uh, Congressman Danny K. Davis as, as well as Congressman uh, <laughs> So we represent around 38 uh, ethnic communities across Chicago, Chicago land and uh, we strive to empower our multi-ethnic communities through social, educational, cultural, health, economic and uh, youth initiatives. AMAC actually tries to promote and protect multi-ethnic and uh, uh, minorities near uh, and uh, uh, by leveraging every resources what we have and uh, we try to empower them. Today we want to brief you on the 12th Oscar uh, award uh, ceremony that uh, uh, that's what we, are, we want to welcome you all today. Thank you. Hi, uh, good morning. Thank you for the press here. My name is Vijay Muralinda. I'm going to cover the entertainment section. I got to cover out many names, so I'm going to use my phone uh, here for a little bit. We are excited to present a spectacular entertainment program, which is a non-stop medley of song, dance, and music, titled Around the World in 60 Minutes, featuring performances by Indonesian Dance of uh, Illinois, Goom Guru Dance Academy, Ballet Folklorico Ketsako, Kalinka Russian Folk Dance Ensemble, Chinese Dance Group, Polish Dance Ensemble, and African Soul Dancers. The highlight of the gala is an evening in Paris 
fashion show featuring European models curated by Ghazala Khan of Raj Bodhi. This fashion extravaganza will feature 15 models with exclusive design of Kuchu. <coughs> now, the showstopper is a replica of the 2023 Oscar award winning song number Natu Natu song. This dance has been choreographed by Feet to Feet Studio from Chennai, India. The grand finale after the awards presentation showcases a galaxy of multi-ethnic singers led by Ijire Dollars, Entertainer of the Year awardee, and Nitya Nair, and Mir Ali, Ethnic Singer of the Year awardee, and other popular Chicago land singers. We hope, we hope to see you all there. Thank you. Thank you. We are very happy to welcome Congressman Daniel P. Davis here and it's because of him that we are all gathered here. Twelve years ago, Congressman Daniel P. Davis wanted a platform to showcase the hard work and achievements of the different multi-ethnic communities and minorities of Chicago land and beyond. And thus was born the 12th Annual Congressional U.S. Awards Gala. And today we have 33 uh, categories and we are convening at the Yellow Box on June 17th. American Multi-Ethnic Coalition was born from the Multi-Ethnic Advisory Task Force meetup of the 7th Congressional District, which Congressman Danny K. Davis founded in 2009 December. And today, American Multi-Ethnic Coalition has become a national organization with chapters across the country. AMEC and MITEF are very pleased to keep working on different initiatives, including social, economic, political initiatives to empower the minority people, including political. And it was Congressman Danny K. Davis who, uh, who insisted on political participation of the minority communities, and thus we have the first Indian American Congressman from the state of Illinois, Congressman Raja Krishnamurti. Uh, today, at the you're going to hear from Dr. Zanobia Sobel, some of the awardees. We also have some of the presenters. A lot of local elected officials, community leaders will be participating in this most anticipated event of the year uh, at the Ella Box on June 17th, the 12th Annual Congressional Gala. <coughs> Thank you so much. Dr. Sobel. Good morning, everyone. Again, you've heard the upcoming event, June 17th at Yellow Box. If you've never been to a community Oscars, it's something that you'll never forget. It's a day of celebration, a day of awards, and it's a day that uh, fellowship and, and love is all in the room. So we look forward uh, to sharing that day with you. And just a hint of some of the awardees, um, Man of the Year is State Rep. Sean Ford, who is being honored for his work on mental health and drug abuse prevention. Uh, these are things that are going on in our communities that we have leaders who are fighting and working uh, to resolve and to solve the problems that we face in those areas. We also have State um, One of the Year, Cook County Commissioner Donna Miller, for her work. And we know of some of the, some of us know of some of the concerns that are going on in that community. And then we have the Golden Eagle Award uh, for 2023 uh, for the Humboldt Park uh, Hospital or Health Center. And uh, we are looking forward to celebrating them. And then also the Rising Sports Star of the Year, uh, young Darshan Thomas. Uh, he has gotten the attention of many of our professional sports teams or sports leaders, of course players, and you may be surprised who you may see. So we invite you to come out, enjoy, don't miss it, you'll never forget it. Thank you. So next we have our Lord U.S. Congressman Jonathan Jackson, a gallery pro anchor, remarks. Thank you. Thank you, I'm honored to be here, and this is a tremendous tribute to all the great work of the city of Chicago. We are truly a composite nation, a composite city. So many ethnic groups bring us together, give us our vitality, our sense of being. And this is the time for us to come and appreciate it. I am honored to be here as a freshman congressman. 
alongside my colleague and dear friend and mentor, Congressman Danny Davis, and I'm sitting here to learn and experience all the good things he's done in bringing people together. Right now, we have affirmative action under attack. People are trying to use a tool that made America better to bring people together to uh, have strife and, and create division. But it's a tool to bring people together to bring about inclusion. And so this is one additional plank in the ship that makes us stronger and better, a multi-ethnic group. And so as you can see from the people that are here today, uh, by our convener, Dr. B.J. Prabhupada, it's amazing. An honor to be in Chicago, honor to be a part of this multi-ethnic uh, convention. I'd like to introduce my friend, the distinguished ranking member from the House Ways and Men, the House of Representatives, the Congressman from the 7th Congressional District from the state of Illinois, who served us proudly and continues to serve us well, Congressman Danny Davis. Well, thank you all very much. And first of all, I want to thank the owners of the Jasmine Hotel for giving us the opportunity to be here for this announcement. I am so delighted to be here for a number of reasons, and more than delighted to be standing next to my colleague from the 1st Congressional District, because we seriously believe that you can bring people of all races, groups, and nationalities together. And that's what this is all about, is how do we bring the world community together? And that's what the multi-ethnic coalition represents. Even the thought, the idea, the security, the understanding, that you know that you can represent your base race and you don't have any problem with that, or any sense of security about that. But you also know that you can reach out and try and help bring the world more closely together so that all of us can And the fact that uh, representatives, sometimes it gets hard to call somebody that you respect and admire as much by any kind of title other than my brother, Jonathan Jackson. <laughs> you know, I have a word that I often use in these kind of gatherings that says, I sought my soul, and my soul I could not see. I sought my God, and he eluded me. But then I sought my brother, and my sister, and found all three. And so all of these men and women, ladies and gentlemen, are my brothers and sisters, and that's why it's so good to be a part of a multi-president. Affirmative action, affirming the work that people have done, the contributions that they have made, is unparalleled. And so I want to thank Dr. P.J. for being the leader, in a sense. You know, if nobody takes up the drum, then you don't have anything to beat. And so Dr. P.J. was a of the creation of all this interaction Yes. that takes place with people from all over the world. And so when I see my brother Sam Mark, who got some of the best moments I mean, all of these people being a part of something, and we are going to gather on tomorrow evening. We're going to have ourselves what we call a Wayne Dang do. <laughs> meaning that we're going to have a great time enjoying the spirit of unification, the spirit of coming together, the spirit of knowing and being that the good Lord created all of us in his own image, or in the image that he decided we would all be. So I thank all the recipients 
I thank all of those individuals who are part of the ongoing group. And so when I come to Chinatown, it's just like being on the west side of Chicago. <laughs> it's just like being at home, because home is where the heart is. Thank you all. It's going to be a great day tomorrow. We're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going to acknowledge a lot of great people who've done outstanding work. And thank you again, Representative Jonathan Jackson, for being here. Thank you all for coming to this, um, and especially the press. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Congressman Jonathan Jackson and Danny Davis, for your leadership, your support, and today's remarks. Yeah. And, <laughs> and thank you, Dr. Vijay Prabhakar. He is our uh, leader. He guides us, and this would be a huge positive. We have a question for Congressman Davis. You do? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Can you respond to the impending indictment of Donald Trump, please? I'm sorry, say it again. Can you respond to the impending indictment of Donald Trump? Oh, it's a question that goes beyond <laughs> the <laughs> but, but I guess people don't mind being standing here as I respond to that. The indictment, I think, of the former president of the United States reinforces the fact and the idea that no one in this country is above or beyond the law. That, that we are a nation of law and everyone have to comply. And if they don't, then the law will come after so the law has decided to come after the former president of the United States, and I think it's one of the best things that has happened in our country in a long time. Congressman Jackson, can you respond, please? I agree wholeheartedly with everything that my colleague and friend and mentor, Congressman Danny Davis, and we both share the same concern that we are delighted that uh, the wheels of justice are moving, they move slowly, but we do believe in the judicial system. And we want him to be afforded the opportunity of equal justice, equal protection under the law, and that he will have due process, a fair day in court. Not the same day, that he, the day he did not wish for the Central Park Five, but we do hope that he has a fair day in court and may justice prevail. Thank you again. Yeah. So thank you everyone for we are able to wind up. And thanks to every media who has been present. I'm also a journalist, being a working with HW News, and thanks to all my colleagues and all delegates being here. Thank you. Especially Mr. Ajay. Yeah. Especially Mr. Ajay. And Chinese media. Yeah, Chinese media. Everyone, every every company. Yeah, especially our Space Polywala. Uh, and every media, uh, I'm not naming each and everyone, but thanks for being here. Thank you very much. We'd like all of you to come and come to the event on Saturday, June 17th. Uh, please sign in uh, with Ali Dhanraj or Naveen, so we'll send you a special media passes to attend. Join us in Naperville for the greatest event of the year. June 17th yeah. at Ella Box. Email amex a m e c dot two zero two two at yahoo dot com. Okay, let's go. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip.